Hey, it's me. Happy Friday. I do not have a whole lot of things to show you. I actually, gosh, let's just go ahead and talk about my house. I'm so excited. We did the final walkthrough this week on, I think, is it Tuesday or Wednesday? I can't remember. And then next week on the 30th, we are closing. But the movers, which is funny, the movers are not coming until the 7th. So I will definitely be packing things a little differently this time. I just wanted to say so many of you have just been so nice and I appreciate it so much. And a lot of you have been saying you can't wait to see how I decorate it. I just want to say it's going to take me a while. One, because I just don't even know what I want yet. I want to wait until I get in there and see how I feel. Do I want a sectional sofa? Do I want just two sofas? Do I want a sofa and a big chair? Do I want a rug? Do I want this, that? You know what I mean? I don't even know what I want on my back porch. I've been looking at like outdoor furniture. This morning I ordered two rocking chairs for my front porch, two nice rockers. I ordered a doormat that is big enough to go, you know, covers, I think it's like um, 72 inches, covers both doors. I'm thinking of getting the swing, the porch swing to match the rockers, I wanted to ask John first because we've never had a swing on our porch and I just wanted to make sure that was something he wanted. And so he told me to go ahead and order it. So I think I'm gonna order that too. What else have I ordered? I ordered a bed for my upstairs. I wasn't gonna do that, but all in all, I felt like it would be a good thing for John and I, if, like last night he snored all night long, it would be a good thing for us to have another bed if we wanted to go to it and like if my friend Mary comes over or if my parents want to stay for a night or something like that. So I did get a bed for upstairs. I just don't even know where I'm gonna put it. And I got a decorator. She is supposed to, we've already been kind of exchanging ideas. She's already, you know, of course, toured through my house. And so she's going to help me with some decorating. That is what's going on. I'm trying to think, did I have a, seems like I had ordered like one more thing. And I can't think about what it is. Oh, I know what it is. Bar stools. We ordered some bar stools from Overstock. We really have enjoyed the acrylic bar stools, but we needed the counter height instead of the bar height. And I didn't want silver or chrome. I wanted the gold to kind of match what we have going on. So we ordered those too. As you probably know, nothing, I don't know if anything has already shipped. Everything it's kind of back ordered, but I did try to choose things that will at least be here, you know, maybe the end of July or in August. John has been so good. I just, I can't believe how motivated he is. He has sold our recliner, his recliner. That thing had barely ever been sat in. So we sold that and he sold the kitchen table and chairs, the glass one, because I just knew we weren't going to use that. And then what we talked about is we're probably not going to take my dining room table and those velvet chairs. Just really nothing from our old house. Not many things go in the new house, but we are going to wait until we move. We actually have this rental house until the end of July. So we are going to just wait until we move. Anything we decide we don't want, we'll leave here and then we can sell then. That is kind of like a little update. So I am just really, I don't care if I walk around that house just empty. It just doesn't bother me a bit. And I've been getting advice like my friend Tash from Nashville Tash, she, she said to do one room at a time. And that's something I hadn't thought of. Oh my gosh, look at this knot. That's not good. I got busy up here yesterday and did the same thing let my hair dry almost all the way in the towel and then just took it out. So this is definitely air dried, not even a bit of product in it. So anyway, so let's show you what I got for this week. And thank you again for being so excited for me and with me. And you know, I had a decision to make. Did I want to share every single thing with you guys or did I just want to share a little bit? Or did I want to try to keep everything private and just show you my studio? And I decided to just go all in and just show you everything. Show you the whole front of the house and everything. And I'm very, very, very glad that I did. It's been just kind of like my DMs. It's been so rewarding. It has enriched our relationship, I think. And I'm just, 
very, very thankful for that and for you. Okay, so let's start with something I just got. And this, I'm sure this looks familiar, but this is the Mason Gray Little Jumper. So I might have to stand up for this. But this is just like a little jumpsuit that you can either just wear around the house or I'm sure sleep in. It has pockets and it actually adjusts too. the straps do. I just love my robes so much and I know how much I love this fabric that they use that I was just more open to getting, trying some new styles. So I got this and what kept me from getting it at first is I thought, hmm, going to the bathroom. But it's not gonna be that big of a deal just to take this down, I don't think. I will let you know. If it is, that might be a deal breaker, but I just wanted to try it and I felt like it would be something that I feel like if I'm wearing around the house, you know, this neighborhood is very, very, very different from any neighborhood I've ever lived in. We're real close together. Yards are not a thing there. I mean, I don't think anybody worries about their yard because it's, we're all just trying to fit our house on the lot. We're gonna have neighbors. I met my neighbor that is building the house to the left of us. If, if I'm sitting on my porch, she's gonna be on the left. And, um, and then the person on the right, I'm not sure when they're gonna build. Anyway, I know every time I'm outside, I need to be in something that I can say hello to someone, I can have a conversation, and at least be decent. So that's the reason I got that. And then this, I just got, this is the print that I got my mom in the short robe, and she loves it. And she even, she told me this, I had not even read this, that it's good for the beach, like a beach cover up too. So when she met me at the pool last week, she had her little cover up, but I just got this little slip nightgown in the palm print. I love this. I love that it's black and white palm print. Something else that we're doing, we got like the highest level of landscaping, but it only came with like X amount of palm trees. I think we got six, but we are gonna take out two trees in the front yard, I think the front right, and then right up there by the house. And we've already, John's already gone and talked to them about putting in two more palm trees. Cause that's just, that was just something I really wanted. I even wanted to put palm trees in my old house, but I just felt like it didn't really go. And it, when it got to the point of spending that much money, I didn't know. And then we ended up, you know, selling the house. So anyway, so I love it. And then these I ordered and they have just, just sitting here have made me so happy. I mean, look at these colors. So these are the Skims thongs that I love. And I I was thinking this morning when I put, I put a nude pair on, I was like, I hate that I even showed you those Commando because they do not even compare. Do not compare to these. There is just something about these that they just don't show. They are so stretchy. She did such a good job with this line. I don't think I've ever gotten anything from Skims that I did not like. So I grabbed these and I think, I, yeah, I did. I went to the small. My other ones are all mediums, but they kind of um, slide all around and I got the small and these are the Neon Orchid. I think that they are beautiful. And then I tried this. I just got this, I think day before yesterday. I ordered all of this from Nordstrom. But this is the little bralette in, let's see, is that? No, I don't think this is Neon Orchid. It is, it is, it's Neon Orchid too. So loving that. And I thought this would be, if I like this a lot, I will get lots of colors, whatever they offer, because I thought this would look good under dresses and stuff too. And you know, I have to get like chartreuse or something like this. This is just the neon lime, beautiful, the orange. So this is called neon coral, love it. And then this is a different style. This is the cotton and I just wanted to try these. And this color is deep sea. I actually have a tank top, like a ribbed tank top in this color and I really like it. It's really cool because it's um, it's not black, it's not green, it's kind of like a mixture and it just, I think it's, it's kind of like the eyeshadow color that I like. I just really like it. And then let's go over here. I'm gonna try something with you real quick. But I wanted to show this to you. You know, I'm always talking about journaling and me writing stuff down every day and i'm a note taker too i'm watching videos no matter what it's about if they say something that i want to remember 
I just, it's almost like I'm in class. I take lots of notes and then I read over them. And then you'd be surprised how much you'll go back to think, you know, who said that and all this kind of stuff. So this is my favorite notebook and I have shown you these before. I'm not sure how I discovered these. I think the first one I ever bought was in Barnes and Noble. And um, I've had this one before. I like it, make it happen. I think, you know, I had bought a stack of them a while ago. And I remember when I came to this, it was right when we were looking for a house and it just, I don't know, it just got me. I'm, I'm always looking for like little positive signs and stuff like that. So I really liked this one, but you, there are several to choose from. Like I'm so busy and let me see which one I'm using now. Hold on. This is funny. Make it happen. I really like these. The reason I like these, I think they might be a little bit wider and bigger. They're very substantial. I like that they have the pockets like on the front right there do they have a pocket in the back i can't remember no no pocket in the back maybe one divider and but i just i don't know there's something about them i like that they have the date right there every morning first thing when i come up here oh and if you guys know of some really good pens i would love some pen ideas because there's nothing better than a new notebook and a new pen. Usually what I do is I write the date, the day, the date, and I write my weight. And that way I can go back and see and I can just keep up with it. So love these and I think you would too. I think they're worth the money. Okay, this is funny. Oh, wait a minute. There's something else I wanted to show you guys. This just reminded me, hold on. Okay, it was in my beach bag. But yesterday, I needed to do some things before I went to, I was hoping the pool was gonna be open, it wasn't. I just wasn't in the mood to go to the beach, so I decided I'm just gonna go lay out on the boat docks. And my friend Mary, when she was here, had a really cool bucket hat that she got at H&M. And what was cool about it is it had a really long, you know, what do you call it, brim. And I, when I looked at her, I could see how it was like shading all around her shoulders and her neck and everything so i went to h m and they didn't have it they had they just didn't have anything good i didn't get anything there and i thought well i'm going to run into gap and banana republic so i went into banana republic and they had this one and it's reversible so when you see it in the store or you see it online it's going to be black but have you ever worn a black hat at the beach or at the pool oh my god don't even do it i mean it looks good but it is so hot so, but I thought this was so cool to have the leopard. And um, what size did I get? I have kind of a big head. I think I took the tag off of it, but I wore it yesterday. I'll put a picture in here and it is perfect. Look at how far that brim goes out. So I just love it. And I think it goes with, like yesterday I had on that green Hunza G. I've just been so into the hats at the beach or at the pool. They just are the best. You know, I used to just wear a visor every time, but really I don't want my scalp getting burnt. So I've been into hats and I just ordered at least three, maybe four from Walmart to try this morning. So I'll be trying those for us too, but I just love, you know, the different looks. So this is what I was getting ready to show you. I was in line paying for the hat at Banana Republic and you know they have everything up at the counter just like candy for kids and I saw the candles. This one is sea salt. I think there was they were there was three different ones and they were like beach themed. And at first I thought they were fragrance but then I realized they were candles. So I opened them up and smelled them and this one just smelled so good. It's the it's got sea salt, orange blossom and solar musk and it is a pretty candle just very very plain and so i was thinking lisa that's not your signature scent you can't get that <laughs> but i thought well i'll burn it here see how i like it because i know some of you might not like that amazon candle so i wanted to find something else good and oh my goodness okay it smells like the mason louise i haven't even checked the notes on that mason louise number four but that's what it smells like. It is so beautiful. It is such a beautiful scent. It is not spa-like. It's not real floral. It is, what, what is the main, 
note. I don't even know. I don't know what the main note that I smell would be, but it is beautiful. And it was $38. It was not on sale. The hat was on sale, but this wasn't, but I liked it so much I got it anyway. So I just wanted to show it to you and tell you about it because I think Banana Republic's kind of known for their candles and their fragrance being like good quality. And let me get close for this. I got a package yesterday from Rodial and they sent me their new powder. And so many of you had asked about this. So they also sent me their SPF drops, anti-blue light and pollution with butterfly bush and hyaluronic acid. And I just, matter of fact, I put it on my phone. Hold on. Okay, here it goes. I'm gonna try to read it from my I just took a picture of the website. I wanted to see if there was anything, you know, what you could do with these. Was it something you could wear under your makeup? Was it something you could mix in? And I will say it's like a milky texture. I'm trying to think of what. It reminded me of a primer. Which primer is like this? It's kind of milky and it almost has like a slicky, powdery feeling. Like it glides on real smooth. So I've got it on under my makeup today, and anyway, let me read you what it says. The silky weightless answer to UV and blue light photo aging. Protect skin from harmful UVA and UVB radiation with this lightweight SPF 50 serum while blue light filter technology works to shield skin from collagen degeneration and loss of elasticity. Formulated with antioxidant-rich butterfly bush to help strengthen skin's natural defense from free radical damage alongside an, alongside an effective hydration system combining hyaluronic acid and vitamin E to nourish and replenish the skin's moisture. And then it says tips apply liberally as a final step after your skincare and moisturizer. Wear under makeup allowed to absorb fully. Okay. I read this and then put it on and it did not take a long time to absorb. So if you're someone that wears makeup or wears sunscreen under your makeup every day, I do think that you would like this. I also think it's good for, like I put it down my neck and everything and I liked it. So, and I will, I'll see if it, you know, helps hold my makeup on. But to be honest with you, I'm wearing double wear. So this stuff stays on all day anyway. But I think what you're most excited probably to see is the glass powder, loose setting powder from Rodial. I have not even opened this. Classy, classy. I loved all their packaging and just their whole presentation to me. It's just one of those products that I like. Here we go. So I'm gonna put some out on my lid. I'm gonna do this, like I have to do with the Laura Mercier. Okay, yeah, there's, got some out. So I like the color. I like that it's not too yellow, not too white, not too anything. And I've got this little Wayne Goss brush. So I'm gonna work it in this little brush. And let's see here, let me get my mirror. So here's, I've got some pores right here. And right here. It is pretty. I don't, I don't notice any scent. And then I'm gonna put it up here. I don't wanna go under my eyes too much. Okay, let's put some right there. Yes, very, very fine. <coughs> but I just breathed some in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my whole. Yes, it is very, very fine. You can see it flicking everywhere. Okay. I don't know if you can tell. When I move, it's going to be so wonderful. I might even get... I know a guy that does videos. He's a photographer. And matter of fact, I'm gonna use him coming up soon for something. And I might get see if I can pay him to come over to my house and then like set up my cameras because I'm ready to use my better camera and not sit so close up and all that kind of good stuff. But so hopefully you guys can see that. I love it. And I wanted to tell you too, I found one more Laura Mercier caviar stick that I didn't show you that day. It's the darkest one, but today I have it on right there. You can see, I love it. I love those things. They are so 
easy. I really do love those. Okay, is that it? I think I just have to show you my outfit of the day. Will is going to get a haircut today. So, I love these joggers. They're very thin, they're high-waisted, and I love wearing them with those Amazon, I don't even know if I showed you those. They're like these little Amazon cami crop top type things. They've got spaghetti straps. I wore one the other day, and I, I really like wearing those with these pants because the pants come up high, and you only have a little bit, and I just like it. But since I'm going to be going into probably a barber shop today, I figured I better not do that. Yeah. So here are the pants I was telling you about. They do tie, but it's on the inside, which I kind of like and what do they say pacific sunwear los angeles they're from pac sun i got these and the like minty green ones and then this is a bodysuit oh it's either zara or one of my amazons and then i've got bubba right here and then i've got on my white flip-flops which i've really enjoyed and that is it okay and then for accessories i have on my dean davidson little set um, I funny bunny on my nails and I have wanted to put my Bonjour Julie nails back on but you guys I can type so much faster I can text so much faster and now that I'm keeping up with all of my DMs and I'm trying to keep up with all of my emails and I'm having to type everything for my videos I think um, matter of fact my nails now are kind of getting too long so I'm not sure when I'll put those back on but I do miss them and I think that's it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you back here on Monday. See you then. Bye-bye.